Harry, we're trying to Wilson on Saturday. What will be uh, an exciting encounter? How is the squad heading into the weekend? No, it's good. We're looking forward to the game. We know it's going to be a, a tough game of course. Um, I think Stu's done a really good job there. They've got a decent group and um, we know it'll be a tough one. Of course, we have to talk about the big news of Josh Walker departing the club on deadline day. I'm sure you're disappointed to lose such a good player, but you must be delighted for Josh to get his opportunity as well. Yeah, uh, 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 first and foremost, I'd like for Josh to, to be able to go and, and then, you know, play his trade now in, in League One. He's been terrific since he's been here for 18 months with us. He's developed really, really well, um, walked hard, great attitude. So we deserve, he deserves that shot, I think. The part of the job of the manager as well, as, as, as much as it is improving the team, it's improving individuals within the team. And I think uh, both me and my staff, since we've been here, that's the fifth player, I think, in three years that's gone to the body from us. So we're, we're proud that I think we can help people on their journey as well. Um, and we wish Josh every success. And uh, Josh was our top scorer so far this season, but we definitely still have the quality in the squad to put the ball in the back of the net, don't we? Yeah, we have. I think you know we have to look for, for options you know, within the group internally. And if we have to extend it, we can do that. We know that when you look at our recruitment, what we've done over, over the time I've been in, We've not been a team that's gone out and spent thousands and thousands of pounds on players from the football league. We've had to take people, you know, like Josh, who, who left Barnet, or like Mosa Gaffey didn't have a club, George Holmes and Hornshaw, as people from you know, in and around so below us, Jay Boyd didn't have a club. Sydney from Northwood, you know, we've had to find little gems and try and polish them up. That's been the way we've worked, really. Um, and we'll have to do that again. We know we've got people in the building, like you said, in Tanner, we've got Maka, we've got June, we've got Angela, we've got Jay Boyd here, we've got Sydney, so we've got good options at the club. We just need to step up to the plate and ask some goals. You mentioned internally uh, the players we have got here, but also externally. Are we looking to bring anyone in to uh, replace Josh's quality? If we can, I think that's the important thing. Like I said, we're not we're not ones like I said that go out and spend, you know, the teams of the division that go out and buy someone from League One or buy someone from League Two to compete in the division. We're, we're, we're not that type of club, um, and we haven't been since I've been here. So we have to make sure that we find the right people at the right price that fit what we want to do, um, and move forward. I think. Again, for me coming to the club three years ago, that was a big thing. Um, developing our players is important to us. When I got here, we were everywhere in the division, near the bottom of the division. We've managed to improve the team and the squad to be a team competing for the playoffs. And within that, we've been able to produce individuals good enough to go and play in the football league. And that's something we're going to try and do. You mentioned some of the players that have put the quality in our final third, and one of them was Angelo Blanta. Some keen eyes on the season on the pitch uh, before the match, just having a little kick around, which he hasn't done for a while. How close is he to uh, being back involved? And he's back in full training, so he's been back in full training now for probably a week. Last week he had like he was a bit of a magic man, a spare man in training games, and, and this week he's been full contact. So he's, he's, he's come along really, really nicely. He's got through he got through a really, really tough session on Tuesday. when I mean, he's done really well. And we'll see what he's like tomorrow for the weekend. We won't push him. We've not got a weekend. We hope by Oldham Tuesday and going into February we've got lots of games and we'd like to get him back in as quick as we can. Just looking back on last weekend, we lost Josh Hare and Sam Lee for injury in the game. Do you have an update on them at all? Sam's fine again, Sam's back training, um, so he'll be available Saturday. Josh will be out for a couple of weeks, we think, with a bit of a back issue. And it's another month with a large amount of games and a few longer away travels. How big of a test is it as a manager to keep people fresh and ready to go for the next one? Yeah, you have to be ready mentally as well as physically. I think we know we've got lots of difficult games this month, lots of travelling as well, so we've got to be ready for that. Um, but we've got, hopefully we've got the numbers that we can call on to make sure that we've got energetic teams in all the games we play. We know we're in a, a running now with probably five or six teams fighting out for two or three places in the playoffs. So we've got to stay focused on that. We know there's going to be ups and downs. We have to keep on rising to the challenge and then the force will stand Saturday. One of those teams challenging with us for the playoffs is Wilson on Saturday. We know they're a dangerous and tough side to play against. What do you think their biggest qualities are? They're a good team. I think first and foremost, they are a good team they're, and, and they are a team. They pass the ball really, really well. They build it from the back. They have done it since, to be fair, since Stu's been there. They've been a very good football side. I think that's their biggest quality in terms of that. In possession of the ball, they're dangerous. They try and dominate possession of the ball. And something that we have to be good against in terms of winning the back. We have to be good at transitions. And we have to be good on the ball ourselves. Finally, our, our game at home this season against Willstone, we were amazing. It was a 4-1 win. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the goal right at the last minute. It's going to be a different game this Saturday, won't it? Yeah, there are, every game is different. There's no two games that have been the same that I, I can remember. Um, I've got to be honest with that. I think I, I'll have to look back at the game. I remember they scored from a corner, wasn't it, late yeah. in the game? Maybe we disappointed the goal with the tier, but we played well on the day, and that will mean absolutely nothing this Saturday. It's a totally different game, like I said. A much different game, probably different personnel, I'm sure, as well. So we've got to make sure that we're, we're at it and then the end of us, we can do it Saturday.